I've got a new favorite gadget. It's a mind control one. Well, it's not quite mind control, but it is a brain computer interface. That sounds kind of scary, but what it is, is a direct connection between your brain and a computer. And you can use that to control the computer just with your thoughts. No wires or electrodes implanted in your head required. How does it work? Neurons in our brain communicate with each other through electrical signals. The thing is, those signals are incredibly hard to detect. I mean, they're generated by individual cells, individual neurons, deep within the brain tissue. But the good news is that we have figured out ways to measure them. The most invasive way is to actually implant electrodes into the brain, like they do in clinical trials for people who have lost the ability to move. But there are also non-invasive ways. One is to put a bunch of sensors on your head in exactly the right places to measure the signals from your brain. That's called electroencephalogry, or EEG. But there's another way too, which is to measure the magnetic fields produced by your brain's electrical activity. That's called magnetoencephalogra, or MEG. And both of these techniques have been used successfully to get people to control computers with their minds. In an EEG study published in 2019, a monkey was able to use its mind to type on a keyboard based on where it was looking. An MEEG study published a little earlier in 2018 had a similar result with a human being. But what's really cool about the new study is that it doesn't require electrodes on the scalp or even a big magnet. It can pick up those tiny electrical signals from your brain just through the skull, which is a really big deal, because the skull is opaque to X-rays and gamma rays, but it's not opaque to radio waves. Radio waves can go through the skull, and that makes wireless communication with the brain possible. So all you need is a set of headphones that transmit radio waves at precisely the right frequencies to stimulate different parts of the brain and a receiver that picks up the signals sent back by the brain. And you'd be surprised how precise this is. In the new study, they could tell just from the signal in one part of the brain whether the person was thinking about moving their finger or their whole arm or their mouth. They could even tell which direction they were going to move in. Now this is still very much an experimental technology. It's not clear how useful it will be for communicating with people who can't speak. For example, because of LAAs, but the idea of being able to connect directly with a computer just using your thoughts is pretty appealing. And this new study shows us that it's just possible even without surgery or wires or a helmet full of sensors. You just need a good internet connection. Thanks for watching this episode of C-Show. And thanks especially to our supporters who make it possible for us to explore the intersection of neuroscience and technology. You can learn more about how you can support us at our support page.